watching Fox 10 News at 10. After filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection two months ago, Chrysler employees, they're going back to work. Production is resuming on assembly lines for the first time since late April at seven locations throughout North America. Two plants will reopen later this month in Michigan and also one in St. Louis, another in Toledo. All of Chrysler's plants will shut down for traditional summer retooling, though, beginning next month. And new tonight, that last story is something we haven't heard much lately, right? Good news about the car business. With a struggling economy and people losing their jobs, cars, they just aren't selling like they used to. But even though times are tough, the best-known car dealer in the Valley is not pushing the panic button. Tex Earnhardt and his son Hal, they see better days ahead. He made his fortune in horsepower. And at 78 years old, horsepower is still how Tex Earnhardt gets his kick. And watch out, this hobby is no joke. Texas grandson Derby finds out the hard way. His horse takes a spill while roping, rolls right on his leg. He limps away, but he's okay. You gotta be tough to be an Earnhardt, especially these days, right? As the once high-flying Valley Auto business has nearly stalled out. We worked all our lives going up this mountain, you know, and it seemed like overnight we dropped off the other end. Tex started his car business in Chandler back in 1951 when he was just 21 years old. His company literature says he's still the youngest person ever to be given a Ford dealership. Took advantage of the opportunity too, big time, growing his business over the years to become one of the top auto dealers in the country. Howdy folks, since 1951, the Earnhardt family's been selling cars and trucks. His That Ain't No Bull commercials became part of the Valley's cultural landscape. In 2006, Earnhardt says it has revenues of nearly a billion dollars. And to put that in perspective, our sports department pointed out that's more revenue than was generated that year by the Cardinals, the Suns, and the Diamondbacks combined. You won't hear Tex talk about that, though. We're just common folks. We put on our pants one leg at a time. Earnhardt's is still a true family business. Tex's son, Hal, who's pretty handy with a rope and a steer, and has been since he was just a kid, is the company's president. Texas' other son, Jim Babe, is the treasurer. Grandsons Dodge and Derby. Don't put me on the spot, man. <laughs> they also help run things, and they all seem to have fun at work. Yeah, do you know what a muskrat looks like? Just look at the top of his head. <laughs> but there hasn't been much to laugh about lately in the car business. I met Tex and Hal out at Hal's Queen Creek Ranch, where the family gathers to rope and relax. What are them? We went for a ride and talked about what's going on these days. We've had some, some problems in car business in the last 58 years, but nothing like this. Tex tells me his dealerships are built to sell about a thousand cars a month, and lately they've been selling only a couple hundred. No doubt right now, you know, we've all seen an economic tough times, and it's, uh, it's made it tough on the whole industry, it's made it tough on Phoenix, it's made it tough on, you know, it affects everybody. Both men see the Valley's housing and credit collapse as the root of their problems and in everybody else's right now. Thousands and thousands of layoffs, they aren't helping either. But you don't build a company like this by being a pessimist. I mean, we got all the stars aligned. The Earnhardts know they, like everybody else, have to ride this recession out. People are going to buy cars again and houses. And maybe we should all round up some of the Earnhardt optimism. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You got a good feeling, for, sorry for yourself. If you've got good health, your wife and your children, and the sun's shining, you know, get up off your dead ass and get on your dying feet. You know, that's, that, that's my theory. And uh, if that ain't true, I don't know what would be true. We got sunshine here, you know, we love it. It's like you and I have been able to ride right here. We're not in snow and ice. I don't have anything against anybody else or anywhere else, but this you can't beat. And so Phoenix will always stay strong and our, and our nation will come back strong. And everybody hopes that ain't no bull. This is Fox 10 News. Slip, sliding, and storms, the fierce weather that catches a lot of people off guard here. And two Flagstaff police officers, they got in some big trouble because of this picture. I'll let you be the judge.